she ain't got no money in the bank. is going on guys jack here and i am back with a brand new video of my fc Schalke career mode if we could aim to get over 15 likes on this one that'd be absolutely incredible and i thank you guys for your support on the series so far we are closing the bundesliga season here today our first year in charge has been an incredible one as we do get a 2-1 win here against much and gladback in the bundesliga we do have Massive games coming up, I believe, against uh, Augsburg, uh, FC Bayern Munich at the Allianz Arena, might I add, and then the final game of the season against Hoffenheim away from home. As you can see here, Junior Kakara does want to negotiate a new contract. We offer him a one-year extension on his current deal, 60 grand per week. That should be enough to see the Brazilian at the club for the long-term future. We do get another 2-1 win against Augsburg. De Santo amongst the brace here with two goals. Uh, Again, a good performance here, and we're ending the season on a high. As you can see here, more good news is Junior, uh, Junior Kakara does accept the contract, and uh, like I said, he will be here for the foreseeable future. Like I said, he's a very tidy, tidy right back and a good good squad player to have into the team. Do some more training with the team here. Sané, Johannes Geis, Grzetska all had fantastic seasons for us. Obviously, all first-team players. Timo Werner and Julian Braun have also been good for us um, when they have played. More great news is Kenny Tete looks to be set to play uh, in our last game of the season here. Obviously, he did have a lengthy injury, but it's great to see him back. He does say he's okay to play in his next game against Bayern Munich. Will he start? We're about to find out right now as we get ready for a game at the Allianz Arena, which is, again, uh, uh, it should be the last game of the season, but it's going to be a brilliant end no matter what uh, to play this great side. And as you can see, Tete not fit enough to start here today. We do start with Kakara, who, who obviously recently did sign a new contract, but it is the strongest team we've got possible. Mayan, Batshuayi, Sané and Torre. Um, well, Tor, should I say, make up the uh, attacking midfield and striker. As you can see here, 12 points clear of FC Bayern with two games left to go this season. We are the champions. There's no doubt in that. I think we've known that for a very long time. Um, we've been a brilliant side. It's a good Bayern Munich side, though. Uh, Goetzer, Muller, Robin, Thiago, Roda and Lahm. Um, again, that, that's the same attacking quality that I think we have up front in the one of these. Thiago spreads the place of Mero Goetz, who completely loses Kakara there. Gets the shot away, but Farnham does hold on, who has been the best goalkeeper without a doubt this season. Grzegorska plays into space to Michi Batshuayi. Gets away from Badstu, but like he wasn't even there, and gets his shot away. But Neuer does block it, only as far as Meyer. And that again shows the difference in class between Farnham and Neuer this season. Neuer spilled that one straight into the path of the young German, who puts it into the back of the net. We lead 1-0 here, 20 minutes into the game. And it is the perfect, perfect recipe for us here. Neuer, I don't know what the hell he was doing. He should hold on to that. That is very poor and questionable goalkeeping from arguably the world's best goalkeeper. But unfortunately, he does uh, concede here. And Meyer does get his ninth goal in the Bundesliga this season. Great play from him so far. As we come forward yet again, Rafina completely takes him out from behind. And the referee doesn't give a foul for that. But as you can see, Salah gets in the ball here yet again against Rafina. Gets taken out again. This one only a yellow card, but arguably you could say Rafina should have been sent off now. Um, 35 minutes into the game, that is two red card offences, in my opinion. Straight through the back of the player, but nothing given as Robin tries to unlock uh, this Schalke defence here. Plays it back into Ryder, back into Robin. You'd expect him, you'd back him from there to score, but he misses on that occasion. As you can see, we're going to half time here. Not the best of games, it's actually been quite cagey here at the Allianz Arena. No one really having the momentum going into this one as Robin uh, tries to get Bayern going off to a, a screen for the start of this second half. Rafinha crosses the ball in who arguably shouldn't be on the pitch. Goetze comes very close. You believe if he makes contact with that, that's goal bound and um, the game's level here. As we do bring on Emre Chan from Meyer, who's a little bit tired here but I did want him to play a part in this one as Belanda looks to unleash the attack now and does actually find Sané at the left here. Cuts inside completely falls to the defender gets the shot away. Bad Stuber. What even Neuer there? That was Bad Stuber who makes a fantastic Fantastic block there. That was goal banned. As Ribery gets played in it, 87 minutes into the game and finds the back of the net. It's a oh, it's a sickening blow for us. It really is. The ball over the top. It is route one football at the end of the day. And that's not what you expect from Bayern Munich, but it comes into the path. Uh, the offside trap was beat. Rode a great ball over the top. I don't know where the defence was. Uh, it falls to uh, Ribery through on goal here. He's not going to miss from there. And the Frenchman, who's obviously fresh off the bench, scores the goal right at the end of the game. Uh, eight goals for him in the Bundesliga. It is a tough pill to swallow as the game does come to an end. Not enough time for us to get back into this one. And it does finish here at the Allianz Arena. FC Bayern Munich 1. FC Schalke 1. As you can see here though, we do keep the same gap uh, between the two sides. Obviously that massive 12 point gap is still there. 
and uh, Bayern Munich probably did disappoint out of the two sides here. It's quite an even game, but they had a lot more of the ball. They should have attacked well, but especially in Roda, who was pulling all the strings of Bayern Munich for me in midfield today. He was the go-to player in a star-studded side where he doesn't really shine. He really showed some great class there. And again, you could argue he could be the next... <laughs> you could argue could be the next Bastian Schweinsteiger. So get ready for a game here against Hoffenheim, Sané, Meyer, Batshuayi, and Werner. Obviously, Johannes Geis, Grosette's got all starts. Tete, obviously, not 100%, but we want him playing this game. We want him to see at the Bundesliga season. As you can see, here's the final league table for today's game. Um, it's it's, it's going to end pretty much the same in the top three. Not really any changes. Uh, we'll see the end of the table at this one, but this one really pretty much is the uh, parade of the Bundesliga title for us here. We are champions. This game pretty much is nothing for us, but unfortunately, it is a bit of a kick, uh, kick clash, so I'm disappointed about that. You know, where it happens in football. Um, quite disappointing, but, you know, not too bad of a kick clash. As Batshuayi does play the ball into the path of Kenny Tete. Does really well to get past his man here. Plays it into space to Grzetska. Just over the bar there, unfortunately, on that occasion. As Klansiak tries to get away from his man here. Great bit of play from him a couple minutes into the game here. Maya spreads the play beautifully to find Leroy Sané through on goal here. Sané with the shot and a brilliant goal from our talisman. 20 years of age, what a player he is. He is brilliant. 1-0 to FC Schalke, and it is courtesy of, like I said, our talisman, uh, Leroy Sané. Batshuayi could have gotten to there, but unfortunately he missed it on that occasion. But Leroy Sané, you know, you back him to the moon to score there, and he does perfect start to this game. Nine goals in the season for him. He's level with Meyer, but obviously uh, nowhere near Michi Batshuayi, who is on 17 goals for the season here. Sané goes through on goal here yet again, tries to find Batshuayi, but Fabian Schaar, Brilliant defending there from him on that occasion. Just a friendly reminder again, guys, if you are enjoying the series, make sure you do hit over 15 likes. It only takes a couple of seconds out of your day, and it really does help the channel grow, and I really do appreciate it. As you can see, though, we do come forward with Timo Werner here. Volland completely gets him off the ball here. Great play here from Hoffenheim. Rudy gets the shot away, does get taken down by Matip, and they do win a free kick in a dangerous area. Volland you'd back to take this one, but he actually does run over the ball here, and it is uh, taken by Kim Ju Su. Great defending there from Kalanciak to get the ball away there. Really good there from the left back as Johannes Geis plays the ball into the oncoming Max Meyer here. Cuts inside, gets the shot away again. Brilliant defender there from Fabian Schaar. Hoffenheim's defence is looking very hard to break down so far. And they've dominated the game here with six shots to add two. We really need to make sure we have a better second half here and come out the gate. So um, the team talk is vital for us here. But we do lose that here yet again. The ball comes in. Cleared away from Haldes. Only as far as a Schmidt into Rudy. And what a goal that is. We don't concede many goals in the Bundesliga this season. But, you know, you don't mind when you can see the goal like that. 1-1 here, Hoffenheim equalised, and it is probably one of the best goals I've seen scored against me in the whole of this game. Look at that. That is a brilliant finish. Not even a goalkeeper in top, top form like Farnham can stop that one as Rudy does make it 1-1. Six goals in the league, and um, I think that would be the best of the six. Without a doubt, I mean, it will take a lot to beat that. That probably would be the Bundesliga goal of the season as we come close there with another chance, but the goalkeeper does get away here. We're trying desperately to win this game here as Batshuayi gets onto the ball. Loses his man, uh, dropping the shoulder there from the Belgian. But again, another great defending from Hoffenheim, who uh, Sule and um, obviously Schar at the back have been an absolute force. They come close here with Schweinsler. A great save there from Farnham. We clear it away there. Uh, we nearly lost the game here, and we could still here with a uh, youth trying to get onto the ball. We get it cleared as far as uh, Brandt, who loses that to Elenusi. Into Rudy, into Ut again. Shoots just past the bar there, but the game does come to an end. Hoffenheim end the season, I believe, in the top half finish of the table, which is good to see. But it is all spotlights on FC Schalke. We are the champions, and finally we get our hands on that Bundesliga trophy. Like I said, we've made history this season. Uh, the amount of goals we've conceded has been next to nothing. I believe it's been seven goals in the whole season. It has been a dominant display here from FC Schalke. And the question is, will we continue it for next season? These group of boys have been brilliant. And if you have enjoyed the series, you want to see season two. You know, we still got the Euro League final to play uh, against Villarreal. But if you want to see season two, smash that like button, guys. I would very, very much appreciate it. But that is what it's all about. The Bundesliga title. Bayern Munich have dominated this league for the last few years. Obviously, Dortmund did too. It was a tug of war between these two. But now, nah, Howardess does get to lift up that title. And Schalke have their name in history. The Bundesliga is wide open yet again. And we're looking to make it a very competitive league between FC Bayern, Bayer Leverkusen, Wolfsburg, Dortmund, Schalke. Even the likes of 
minds, you know, they're, they're great sides, so we are ready, we are backed, and we want to retain this title for next season, hit that like button guys, I would very much appreciate it, but Harold S is there, we are the champions, as you can see the celebrations around the stadium for the away fans here, it's so good to see, them travelling away fans will be over the moon here for the boys, obviously they will come back home and we will um, get this trophy shown off, but in my first season at the club we have got a Euro League final and I have won the Bundesliga title, that is what it's all about and I'm very pleased with the lads here as, the, as we do close our celebrations here. Final match stats if anyone cares. Dominated by Hoffenheim, it doesn't matter though, we ended the season on a high, we are the champions, it's good to see here, and I'm very much pleased with the lads, it's been a great, great performance here, but the job is not done yet, we want to get European glory, we want to win the Euro League against Villarreal, we are ready, and we are poised to take that title, as you can see here, we do get 10, point, um, well, 10 million pounds basically, added to our transfer budget, and Kene Tete is unfortunately banned for the opening day of next season. Guys, here's the final league table. If you did enjoy the video and enjoyed the series, hit that like button. Like I said, over 15 likes, and I very much would appreciate it. New around here, hit that subscribe button too. Your early final is at tomorrow, so make sure you do smash that like button, like I said, and I will upload it early for you guys. As always, I hope you have a really nice day. I'll catch you guys all in the next one. We are the champions, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one, guys. Like I said, peace.